watching couple of journeys i am rushali and welcome to yet another brand new episode from the vietnam travel series we have just checked into our hotel at ho chi minh city and this is such a unique property we have never really stayed at a property like this this place is called the hammock hotel and every room in this hotel including the family rooms come equipped with a cute hammock the washrooms and the shower area are exceptionally clean the room has all the standard amenities But what is heartwarming is that all the snacks in the room as well as everything in the mini bar is absolutely free for its guests. There is also a cafeteria on the top floor with an even bigger supply of free tea, coffee, snacks and beer. This fabulous hotel located in District 1 in the heart of Ho Chi Minh City only cost us 6000 rupees per night. It's the start of a new day here in Ho Chi Minh. Uh, we are properly rested. and now we are going for a tour to the kuchi tunnel our hotel has helped us uh, book it because it was a very last minute booking and today being a saturday the tours usually fill up fast the tour has cost us around 2500 rupees per person but if you want you can also book using kluk where you will get it a little cheaper We left at around 7:45 in the morning, but the town already seemed to be bustling with scooters. The distance from Ho Chi Minh City to Kuchi Tunnel takes about two hours, with a quick stop on the way. So our first stop for the day is at this exhibition where they make art from egg shells. I just went inside; photography was not allowed, and the art is absolutely mind-blowing. It is made by. handicaps who are the victims of the Vietnam war it's definitely worth checking out and if you can afford to buy uh, i think you really should the art is truly one of a kind something i've never seen before we resumed our journey to the kuchi tunnels except this time our tour guide decided to entertain us with his beautiful singing Now we have reached the Kuchi tunnels and uh, we are stopping at the entrance and the guide will take us inside. I don't feel really we have to buy the ticket because we have paid for the whole tour so I'm not sure how much it costs. But this is the entrance and here as you can see there is a small map which tells you about everything that you are supposed to see inside. On this end are some of the amazing uh, planes and jets used at the time of the Vietnam War. The tour was very interesting. It began with our guide showing us the uniforms that were worn in the war, followed by the ammunition used during the war. We then saw a short documentary film and then our guide explained how the vast network of tunnels was built in the Kuchi district. There are 3 levels of Vietnamese tunnels built under the ground. The lowest or the third level goes as deep as 12 meters and on the outside small holes like this worked as vents anyway enough of theory it was now time for us to actually see the tunnels just walked out of one of the tunnels they are extremely narrow the system is crazy you can barely uh, keep your shoulders straight you have to duck walk through most of the places it's unimaginable where they lived and how they uh, came up with these guerrilla tactics to uh, fight the us it's such an interesting tour i think it's so well made it's an absolute must of course if you're claustrophobic you will not be able to go through the tunnels because they're really narrow and cramped we then went inside a few more tunnels and the only person comfortable walking in those was our tiny 4 year old daughter 
We then learned about the food they ate and the various tactics they used to beat the enemy. They go there, they read the footprint. Oh. The footprint show that they went there. So after the Kuchi tunnels, we have now come to their shooting range where you get to try out some real solid guns, hands on. And the cost of the bullets though is very expensive. Uh, one bullet costs 60,000 dong, uh, but you have to buy a pack of 10 at the very minimum. So 6 lakh dong is roughly around uh, 2,000 Indian rupees. But Akshay is going to try it out, I'm not very keen on it. So that wraps up our experience at Coochie Tunnels. I wish I could have shot the shooting range a little better but I wasn't allowed close to the firing area. Uh, it was such an insightful experience, very interesting. I recommend everyone who is coming to Ho Chi Minh to take this half day tour uh, and experience what it's like to be under uh, the ground inside the tunnels. Hi everyone, so now we are in the middle of the city, we are standing right outside the uh, central market. A lot happened after we got done with our trip at the Kuchi Tunnel. We came back to Ho Chi Minh and we were going to take a scooter on rent from our hotel and go to roam around the area. But unfortunately what they told here is that they cannot give us a regular scooter like the one that we had been riding in um, Hanoi or Hoi An on rent over here and we had to take the scooter which is less than 50 or cc over here unfortunately that cannot fit three people so we had to take two scooters and rent and what that means is that navigation has suddenly become difficult because i used to be the one who used to give directions to akshay but now i'm having to use my watch for navigation uh, which is which is very weird uh, so we spent some time roaming around trying to find a good restaurant and now we have come to a place called Seoul uh, which has good vegetarian Vietnamese food as well as a few options uh, for Akshay. So after this we won't be left with much time because the sun sets here at 5 o'clock but we are still going to try and see if we can cover a few places today and the remaining we will leave it for tomorrow. in the Ben uh, Khan market which is the central market here. It's very crowded. It's about 5 o'clock in the evening and there are shops on both the sides. As you saw, I got these posters for 150 and the lady quoted 500. Oh, yeah. You're giving for 150? Yes. Then why did you say 500? This is the market. I can save one 500 or 1 million, but you want to buy how much? You buy. <laughs> so you have to bargain like crazy. There are lots of other things here which are good. Like there are some rice uh, paintings, lots of bamboo work, amazing kettles. There is also this section over here which sells first copy of shoes. We are now done with the shopping aspect and you should only visit the place if you want to buy souvenirs uh, or if you want to buy some coffee. Even with coffee you need to bargain hard. Also, I love Ho Chi Minh. Uh, it's a proper city. The number of bikes here are really a lot. Everyone who visits Ho Chi Minh will tell you that this city has the most number of bikes but it doesn't hit you until the time you come to this place. We are now standing on the 49th floor of the Saigon Sunday. This is essentially the Pritexco uh, building. It's supposed to be the second highest, second tallest building in Ho Chi Minh City. It offers 360 degree panoramic views and it's open till 9 o'clock. Uh, the last entry to this place is at 8 15 pm, and the ticket costs 200,000 dong per person, which is around 750. You can also have a closer look at the buildings heard from the binoculars. There is also an information center to get more information about the buildings around, and there is also an exhibition. It's a beautiful place. I think it's a must. It's the start 
of our final day here in Ho Chi Minh. Uh, today we have started our day by a visit to the War Remnants Museum. It's a three-story uh, museum. We have just parked our scooter. The parking over here was much cheaper than the other places. It only cost us 4,000 dong per bike. Uh, otherwise, it costs us 10,000 dong wherever we go and given that we have two scooters now we have to spend 20,000 every time we stop so we have got the tickets now one ticket costs 40,000 dong which is around 125 rupees once you're inside you get an option to take an audio guide one set costs 80,000 dong which is twice the amount of the ticket you're supposed to start on the second floor and then make your way down if you're traveling with children they also have a children's room here on the second floor so if you want to spare them of all the disturbing details, you can meet with them in the children's room. We are now done with our visit to the War Remnants Museum. Some of the exhibits were really disturbing, telling you the after effects or even the effects of war. If you are with children, I really advise you to not visit some of the exhibit areas. Uh, and if you have to come here, come here with a brave heart. This is not for everyone. We have now come to the Independence Palace here in Ho Chi Minh City. It's literally a two minute scooter ride away from the War Remnants Museum. The ticket for this is 65,000 dong, which includes a ticket to the exhibit. If you don't want to visit the exhibit area, you can only buy a ticket for 40,000 dong uh, for the palace. In addition to that, uh, if you want to sit in an electric car uh, the way in which we are right now, you have to buy a separate ticket of 15,000 dong for adult. Child goes free at all the places and the palace is beautiful. You know, this palace is also called the Reunification Palace because it is this place where the Vietnamese war ended and North Vietnam and South Vietnam unified into a single country. But for tourists, there is little information and unfortunately the whole place is turned into a photo shoot area. We are now done with the palace. We are going back to the parking lot. Uh, so if you are not coming here uh, by scooter, you have lots of options. One is that you can take a grab to say the War Remnants Museum and then walk to all the places nearby. Most of the places are within walking distance. Otherwise, you can also book a hop on and hop off uh, bus tour. The tickets are available at this palace as well. You can also book them on Kluk. So our next stop for the day, which is literally one minute away from the palace, is Notre Dame Church. Right opposite it is also the Saigon Central Post Office. I don't think uh, there is any ticket for both the places. If you're coming here on a hop-on, hop-off bus, there is a stop right outside from where you can visit both the places. This is the Saigon Post Office, but I don't want to turn this vlog into a boring informational documentary. So let me quickly show you three quirky snippets from our time in this area. Number one, a Vietnamese local overcharging us for parking. Not surprising. Number two, people sitting on the floor and drinking iced coffee. And finally, me trying out a weird flavoured ice cream. I think it's a musk melon ice cream. It's a very weird flavour. But I can trust Vietnamese to come up with this given how many musk melons I've seen on the streets in this entire Vietnam trip. Okay, now let's go back to the post office. We are inside the Saigon Post Office right now. At the entrance, you will find a few souvenir shops. You will also find telephone booths for golden times, international telephone booths. After that, on this side is where you will see the post office. It's an actual operational post office if you want. You can also send a postcard from here back to your family. The Notre Dame Church is under restoration right now, so there isn't really much to see. But right opposite it, we have run into something that is so beautiful, perfect for a nerd like me. It's called the Book Street. If there had to be a street where I could literally live, I think this is it. 
because there are bookshops on one side selling not just amazing books but also cute stationery and on the other side there are cafes where I can literally sit all day long so now I am kind of kicking myself for not spending more time here it's the cutest street ever After about 5 minutes of riding on the scooter, we have reached the starting point of the walking street. Behind me is the Ho Chi Minh statue. This street uh, shuts down at night and turns into a very vibrant area of the city. We wanted to visit this place last night but unfortunately couldn't because of the heavy rains. On the other side is the Opera House but since we are short on time, we are going to have to skip that. So this walking street has a very European vibe to it. There are some cafes um, all around, plush buildings, old architectural buildings. The overall scene here is fantastic. And there you go, that building behind me is the cafe apartment. It's an iconic building here in Ho Chi Minh City with cafes lined up all the way to the top. So it is almost 1 o'clock and we have to uh, get going to the airport by 2.30 So we are going to make a final stop at the market that we visited yesterday to buy some ruffle bags because we have shopped a lot and I think we are running out of space in our luggage After that uh, we are going to go back to our hotel and um, go back to the airport. I hope you liked this video. I've tried to cover as much as possible from the city. Uh, if you like this video, do share it with all your friends. Subscribe to our channel. Visit our website for more amazing travel tips and information on Vietnam as well as other destinations. I will see you in my next video. Also make sure you turn on the notification bell so that you get notified every time I post a new video. Thank you once again for watching this video. I'll see you in my next one. Bye!